Australia's freshwater turtles, they're a fascinating creature. In the Korowa area, we have three species of turtles. We have the Eastern long neck Turtle, the broad shelled Turtle, and the Murray short neck Turtle. Their habitat is wetlands, all types of wetlands, but the slower flowing water, um, the still water like in billabongs and dams, larger creeks, but things like the Murray River, there are turtles in there, but that's not their preferred habitat. They like to be off to the side. You know, they like to be in the side streets rather than on the freeway. All three species of turtles can be found in the wetlands and rivers around the Korowa area, but the long necks will also be found in farm dams. All those ephemeral wetlands, they're very important for um, the eastern long necks. The permanent water bodies are important for the Murrays and the broadshell turtles. From late autumn through to early spring, uh, the turtles are generally hibernating. Turtles, we don't know how long they live. They live so long we haven't established exact ages. Over 50 years is without question, possibly over 100 years. We, we simply don't know. So the three freshwater turtle species, they all help clean up our waterways. The Murray River turtles are opportunistic omnivores. They primarily eat Philosmith algae and, and other water plants but will at any opportunity uh, eat any meat that they can get. The eastern longnecks are carnivores and they eat the smaller invertebrates, tadpoles, water bugs, that sort of thing. And the broadshell turtles are also carnivores and they eat larger prey like full-size yabbies and a small fish, etc. And they'll all eat carrion. Turtles have a lot of threats, but the three major ones are foxes, which take their nests and kill the females when they're out to nest. Roadkill, which particularly impacts on the eastern longnecks, and habitat loss, so a, a wetland being filled or dried, they don't have a home to live in. Fox destruction of nests is especially bad because it means that there are no baby turtles entering the system and haven't been for several decades. The turtles nest adjacent to the water within a couple of hundred metres of the, of the water usually, um, but they like to be elevated above areas that may be inundated with floodwaters. Nest protection, if people happen to see a, a turtle nesting, the nest is very easy to protect. And retaining habitat and creating safe areas for the turtles to nest. There are nest protectors that you can make to protect the turtle's nest. It's very simple, you simply lay them flat on the ground, peg them down, and that will keep the foxes out of the nests. Corro District Land Care considers that the turtle is very significant. We would like to encourage our community members to help protect the freshwater turtle in our area. There are a couple of things that everybody can do to help turtles. One thing is to enter any turtle you see or any turtle nest you see on TurtleSat, which is a mobile phone app. Anybody can record any sightings they have of turtles or turtle nests raided turtles, dead turtles, on the Turtle Sat app. That helps us establish where the populations are, where the nesting is going on, which helps identifying important habitat that they produce a lot of, lot of young and not many make it through to, to adulthood. The other thing you can do to help turtles is to help them cross the road if you can do so safely. Just move them across in the direction that they're heading and they'll take care of the rest. So we are really passionate about our turtles and we hope that the community can help us protect them as well.